Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Drop your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. Right off the bat, we can see this gem is special because it has a six ray star. So let's start testing. We'll begin with the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. And we're lucky because this gem has a flat and polished base. So we're gonna take our reading there. Going in, it looks like we're around a 1.76 or so. And that's what we wanna see for sapphire. So maybe this is a star sapphire. Now this is an opaque gem, which means that light can't pass through it. So the polariscope isn't going to be helpful here. This is really looking like a star sapphire, which means we'll need the microscope to figure out if it's natural, synthetic, or treated. So this is how the gem looks in normal lighting, but when I add pinpoint lighting, you can see that star appear. Notice it has six rays and they're very sharp and thin, plus the rays easily reach the bottom of the gem. These are two things we observe in synthetic star sapphires. Turning the gem over, we see a cursive L, and this is one of the only maker marks you'll ever find on a colored stone. It stands for Lindy, which was a division of Union Carbide, and that's who made this. And looking to the side of the L, we can even see some curved growth structure from the flame fusion method used to create this gem. So that means this is definitely a synthetic star sapphire, or in this case, you could simply call it a Lindy star. So did you get this one right? 